Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Backyard Buckets. Today, we are talking about the Miami Heat and their slow start of the season, as you saw by the title and thumbnail. But first, before we get started, if you're new here, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button. It really helps us out. Uh, liking helps it out in the YouTube algorithm, and subscribing obviously helps our channel grow. It only takes a second of your time, and it'd be greatly appreciated. Now, like I said, the Miami Heat have gotten off through 16 games, or 6 and 10. Pretty slow start for a team that went to the uh, NBA Finals last year and took the Lakers to six games. So that's a bit disappointing probably for their fans. They're 13th in the East right now. Uh, they have been very, very, very injury-plagued, however. Bam has missed two games. He's been balling out, though. Tyler Harrow has missed six games. Mr. Hero. Uh, Jimmy Butler has missed ten games. Their best player, he's missed ten games. Uh, Kendrick Nunn's missed five games. And then Avery Bradley has missed nine games. And you might say that's not really a factor as Avery Bradley, but he is actually a really, really good signing for this team, especially with 3 and D. That really helps them out a lot. Now, starting off looking at through their players' stats, um, Bam Adebayo, obviously, like I said, leading the team um, in points and rebounds. And he's up there in assists. He might be leading them in assists, too. Uh, he's averaging 21 points, 8 rebounds, 5.5 assists on 60% from the field and 67% from three. But before you get excited, he's only shot three threes on the year and he's made two of them. However, his 60% from the field is very, very promising for Heat fans. He's also been playing pretty good defense considering he's a smaller post and that's really helped out their defense, especially with uh, all the guys missing and Jimmy out. Myers Leonard, one of their other posts has also missed basically the whole season. Um, so that's big for them that Bam is able to play huge minutes at center. Next up, we got Tyler Hero, the single most exciting per. Well, never mind. Zion's probably more exciting to watch his high school highlights. But he's up there. He's up there in the rankings. We got him playing right now in the background. Um, but Tyler Hero this year, he's averaging 18 points per game. So bringing it up from last year. <laughs> um, seven rebounds and a four assists so he's bringing it up he is only shooting 30 percent from three 47 percent from the field overall so those two numbers are pretty good but um 30 percent from three if he brings that up that could definitely help him start winning a couple more games next up we got goran Dragic. he just signed the extension this year to brit to say for a couple seasons um to be their point guard off the bench and he's pretty dang good Especially in the finals, he proved, and the, just the playoffs overall, he proved he is one of the most underrated point guards in the NBA. This year, he's averaging 16 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists on 47% from the field, 37% from 3 shooting splits. So, that's a pretty good season for your backup point guard who's coming off the bench. Uh, he has stayed pretty healthy, though, so that's um, something good. He did miss a few games of the NBA finals last year, and that really hurt him. Next up, we got the guy. Uh, the main guy in Miami, even though he's missed more than half of their games, Jimmy Butler. He's averaging 16 points, 5.5 rebounds, and 5 assists during the time that he's actually played. Um, he's shooting 44% from the field, but he hasn't made a 3 all season. He hadn't attempted many, but he has not made a 3 all season, so that's unfortunate for him. And for the Heat overall, hurts their spacing. Um, next up, we got Duncan Robinson, the sniper himself. He's shooting 14, or not 14%. He's averaging 14 points, four rebounds, and an assist and a half per game on 44% from the field, 42% from three shooting splits. So, pretty good from him. 42% um, from three, a little bit lower than last year. Um, actually, a decent amount lower than last year, so he can bring that up and still be pretty good. Um, and that will help the heat out a little bit more as well. The the kind of theme here is they need to get their guys back shooting the way they were. It was a really short offseason for them, only I think 71 days. Um, but they got to get their guys shooting back where their percentages was, especially from three. Next guy up, Kendrick Nunn. He's averaging 12 points per game, three rebounds, two and a half assists on 47% shooting from the field and 33% from three. So he's playing the backup point guard. Well, I guess he's starting. I don't know. I haven't watched many Heat games. Um, but like I said, he has missed five games. The couple games that I've watched, he was not playing in. Um, either that or he didn't start, or I didn't see him play. One of the three. Um, 
but he is averaging, like I said, 12 points, three rebounds, two and a half assists on 47% from the field, 33% from three. So pretty good from your guy, the guy who's undrafted. So, I mean, once again, another steal for the, for the Heat. Another guy we're going to talk about here, Avery Bradley. He's missed nine games out of the seven so far. Or he's only played in seven. He's missed nine of the 16 so far this year. Uh, he's averaging 10 points, two rebounds, two assists in those games, and he's shooting 49% from the field and 45% from three. So you can definitely see them missing his presence out there on the court. Next guy, Kelly Olenek. Uh, he's been forced to play some more minutes, like I said, with especially with Myers Leonard being out. Um, he's averaging 10 points, five rebounds, and three assists on 41% from the field, 30% from three. So not the greatest shooting splits there from Olenek. If he can bring those up. That will be very good for them. Precious Achua, a guy we're going to talk about. They had another guy, but I decided to talk about Precious just because of, I think, they're just giving the Heat scouting department some credit. Um, seven points, five rebounds to assist. He's been forced to play a little bit more, like I said, with their uh, lack of depth at the big guy position with Myers Leonard out. Um, but he is shooting 63% from the field, so that is another great find by the Miami Heat scouting department. Uh, and a good pickup overall. Last thing we're going to talk about is the Heat have had a very, very tough schedule. They've played the Bucks twice. They've played the Mavericks. Played the Celtics. They played the 76ers twice. They played the Ra- Raptors twice, and they've played the Nets twice uh, most recently. And they lost both of those games, despite Bam going absolutely crazy. And they wouldn't even let them exchange jerseys, which was kind of stupid. But I mean, I can understand where they're coming from. So yeah, Miami. Um, they don't have too much to worry about. I mean, they're 6-10, and 10 and they haven't had their best player for 10 games. Um, even Heroes missed 6. Bradley's missed 9. So, they'll get back on track. They just got to shoot the ball a little bit better, and they should be fine. With that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. So, if you liked the video at any point, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. Like I said, it really helps us out in the YouTube algorithm, um, and it helps us grow our channel. It would be greatly appreciated. It only takes a second of your time. So, now that have done that, thank you. Make sure to come back for another video. Thanks for watching.